Welcome back to Ferristead. We are currently biking around the completed downtown that we are going to build in this video. Let's get to it. The first thing I want to do is get down some of the new buildings that we got with the financial stock market bank uh, DLC. I can't remember the appropriate name of that one, but so we have these three different um, banks. So I want to get all three down and then I want to get um, kind of mapped out this four block area will be our financial district. So I want to place the largest one here. And then I do want to place the other two banks on each side of the downtown. Man, this is a really nice looking building. I like this a lot. I'm not sold if I really like the location of this. Maybe if we move it over here. It's a nice height. I wonder though if we move it to the other side and put the smaller bank over here, if that might be better. Let's try that. Let's bring that over there and then let's fit in the smaller bank over here. Yes, I like that idea much more. Okay, yes, I like this over here much better. Okay, so now we need to find the other financial buildings. Where are those? I think those are here. Yes, we need to put down the stock exchange and then we need to zone up this whole little couple of blocks with offices so we get those really nice new um, buildings that we got with that DLC, all the financial district buildings, and we're gonna let them grow as tall as they want to, which is really fun. We don't have to worry about marking things historical. Okay, while that is filling in, let's start picking out some of these skyscrapers to put down. I have been so excited to create this giant downtown. We have all these beautiful buildings that came with this content creator pack of all the these beautiful high-rise buildings and they're so tall. Some of them are just far too big, but I think we'll be able to find a nice collection here of buildings that are, look at how nice these are. I really like this. We're gonna have some major height, which is gonna be excellent, but we'll still be able to fit them in. I really like these. Very beautiful. Oh, this is fun. So I'm just gonna place some Tetris here. Let's see what buildings we can fit in, how they look with the skyline and let me just see what I can put together. This is the, this is the super fun part. This is looking so good so far. I love where this is going. And there are so many buildings to choose from. I really like them all. We're not gonna be able to fit all of them, nor afford all of them, but I think we can get a really chunky downtown here, which I'm really excited about. We should see how things are looking on the other side here. Let's fix the lighting. Yeah, I really like this. So cool. This is a good one. This is just lots of fun and we are broke. That's okay, there are lots of things we can do. We can speed up the game and earn some more money. That's gonna work out fine. Oh, I love how this is looking so far. You guys have to let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, while we are earning back some money, we can go ahead and fill in some zoning along the waterfront here. So I think we're gonna go with the mid-century um, or not the mid-century, but the um, modern city center and do some nice commercial through here. I think that'll look really nice. And then we'll mix in a little high density residential and that will come in European, which I think will just be like a really nice mix throughout this area. So let's get this all zoned in and see what this looks like. Okay, I really like the look of these. They're nice and chunky. It's definitely not super tall, but that's okay. We're kind of 
layering down in height in this area, but I think we can go ahead and get all of our rest of our residential here throughout the downtown. So let's carefully pull this through and we will do our green cities high density. We will not mark any of them historical. We're just gonna let them get as tall as they want to. Okay, I'm really liking the view from this area. I do think we need a little bit of height on this side though. So I think we could bring the twisty skyscraper um, that Jukubo put in his city for me, which I love. So I think that's gonna be perfect on this side of town. So let's get that put in. Okay, yes, this is perfect. I love this. Okay, we need to do quite a bit of surface painter throughout the downtown. So again, while we're building up more money, let's just get that done. I had a feeling this was gonna be a pretty busy spot, so I think we can go with a larger road um, throughout here, and I think that's really gonna help just give more options for lanes, and we can do our little lane collector connectors here, just tell everyone where to go so they stay out of each other's way, and I think that will help um, with facilitating traffic throughout this area. Um, much better because if I put a light here I'm afraid that's really just gonna back things up so let's just give everyone their own little spot to go and I think that should do the trick Okay, that seems to be moving nicely. Let's just finish off the detailing in this area and then we can move on. Okay, we've built up some money. I really wanna fit some of these Art Deco buildings in and a few more skyscrapers. I don't think we need too much more and then we can start really detailing all the little bits in between the buildings, which I'm very excited about. But I really like the look of this so far. I do think we can fit in a few more buildings through here. So let me see what I can do with Move It and playing Tetris a bit more and see if we can fit just a bit more into this area. I would really like to, and then we can start detailing. Okay, I think I have every single skyscraper place that I want to place, the unique buildings that I want down. I think this looks really cool. Let's just take a look all the way around and see if we're happy. I really like this. I really like this a lot. This is looking so nice. I really like the skyline from all the angles. It's really pretty. I like the mixture of buildings. I think everything is looking real snazzy. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, now we get to do the fun stuff. We get to jump in and all the open spaces in the downtown area, we're gonna go block by block and we are gonna detail and fill everything in. I am so excited for this.
Okay, let's just pause and take a look from this angle. Oh, yeah, I really like this so much. I think this looks so good. I really, really like this downtown. I'm ha so happy with it. It's just a nice mixture of buildings and, oh, this is looking so cool, so cool. Okay, let's continue our detailing. Our detailing is complete, but I realized I forgot the really tall financial building in the unique buildings. So I'm gonna clear all this out here and we're gonna put it down here and then that will officially complete our financial district and complete our downtown. I hope you guys like this as much as I do. I think this turned out so amazing. I could not be happier. I, again, am so glad we came back to Fairstead, and I absolutely love how all of our unique mid-rise neighborhoods turned out, how the downtown turned out. I think everything blends really well together. We have this giant park that's available, and I just love all the neighborhoods that we did that like wrap around our downtown. I like that our downtown is on a hill so the buildings are even more towering over the city. I love how the downtown skyline looks from all the different angles. I think it really all worked together so well. And I'm glad we took our time with it. I know it took probably more episodes than it needed to, but I really like how everything is now blended together. And I love the layers of height and just all the unique little neighborhoods. They're all so different and I could not be more happy. Uh, next time in Fairstead, I think we should start our airport, which I'm so nervous because I've never actually built an airport with the airport TLC before. So bear with me, but I think that'll be a lot of fun and it'll be one more step closer to completing Fairstead before City Skylines 2. I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time.